Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials, and today we're diving deep, hopefully not too deep, hopefully enough, but quick enough, uh, with Printful for your merchandise store, right? It's going to help you create hats, t-shirts, bags, pillows, whatever it is that you have with your logo and your branding, and you want to you put it on an item, but you don't want to stock all these items, you don't want to have an inventory, you just want to be able to have somebody buy it ship it to their location without you getting in the middle. Printful does an amazing job at that. And uh, they have awesome customer support. I've been using them throughout this whole process. And it's just quick, snappy. They get right to the answer. And they, they really help me out with some of the uh, questions I have when I'm setting up product. Uh, and we're going to pair that up with WooCommerce. So obviously, this is a WordPress channel. Most of the time, <laughs> we're going to talk about integrating it with WooCommerce. There's a lot here, but I'm going to try to go through it as fast as humanly possible while providing some value. So about a month ago, I set up this merchandise store for my podcast, Matt Report. And you can come, you can buy a Matt Report cap. And uh, it's actually all of the proceeds of the profits anyway are going to uh, the WP and Up Foundation supporting mental health. I've done this in another video and I've talked about it there. Uh, I was able to get the entire site up from start to finish when I had the idea literally the day of uh, WordCamp US signing up on Printful, getting my logo up there, getting a couple templates set up for these hats, putting it in a WooCommerce store. It took me about maybe two to three hours completely from start to finish. Like, I've got this idea, I've got a logo, let's get some products here and let's build a site. And I'm talking everything, like all of that plus installing uh, WordPress and setting up WooCommerce. And this is what it looks like. Here are the three products all housed within um, the Printful store and it's connected over uh, to store.mattreport.com, and I don't have to even manage any of that stuff, and I'm going to show you that in this video. Uh, I'm not going to dive into all of the strategy around how I built the site and why I built the site. Maybe if you want to know more about that, I, I'll talk about it in another video, but I'm using the Generate Press plugin, or excuse me, Generate Press theme. I've always just found that theme to be super clean and super lightweight, which is something that I think is very important for e-commerce stores. You're not loading up all of these pages with tons of you know, visual content or uh, things that are really going to slow down the site. You want to make sure it's working great across desktop, tablet, and mobile. Generate Press does that. It ha you know, in the premium version, it has the WooCommerce um, uh, styles that you can modify. And just to quickly show you, if I go into the customizer of Generate Press on this WooCommerce um, store that I have, I can go into the WooCommerce section and really drill down on how I want things to be displayed in the product category. Uh, I can set up a store notice. I can really drill down on things that I want to show in uh, the checkout process and customize all of that. I can go into the layout section of WooCommerce and identify things like, do I want to display cart in a menu, product columns, uh, the column gap, the image alignment. I can do all this stuff with the Generate Press plugin specifically for WooCommerce. And that was just a huge time saver for me. You know, you install WordPress, you set up uh, WooCommerce, and if your theme has a sidebar, it's going to be a sidebar throughout your WooCommerce shop. Um, so just being able to quickly get away from that for like 40 or 50 bucks, whatever the theme cost, was just a ton, a ton of time saved uh, and a lot of uh, hair pulling that I didn't have to do uh, to get this all set up. So this is my live store. I'm also going to show you my live uh, Printful store. You might see me edit some of this video out a little bit just because there's some sensitive information there that I obviously don't want to share, um, but uh, we're going to show it to you. We're going to do it live. We're going to show you this stuff live here. Uh, the plugins that I'm using for this site, just so you can get a feeling for it again, uh, when you install WooCommerce, it's going to ask you to do things like, hey, do you want to set up MailChimp? Do you want to set up Facebook? Do you want to set up uh, a, a checkout um, uh, merchant processor like Stripe and PayPal. So you'll see some of that stuff installed here uh, that's from default, but really it's Gutenberg, it's Jetpack, and it's core WooCommerce. And I'm just using the WooCommerce blocks to build out the homepage, which I'll briefly show you right here. If I go to the homepage, uh, this is Gutenberg with, again, with Generate Press, I can disable the homepage. Uh, page titles. So that was just like super quick. I threw in two columns, like here's my attention call to action. Here's a video talking about the, the product store. And then down here below, um, I'm just using the uh, handpicked products from the uh, WooCommerce 
uh, Gutenberg block selection. And I can just come in and just pick out which products I want. I can drill it down and say product title, product rating. I can uh, des decide to show or hide that stuff. Uh, and I just put it in three different columns. I just said, let me just show these three plugins or these three products. And that's it. And that's all this page, this website consists of, you know, aside from the whole checkout process of WooCommerce. And it, again, two to three hours to get this whole store up and running. So if you're interested in starting your own merch store, merchandise store, clothing line, whatever it is with Printful and WooCommerce, you know, depending on how detailed you're getting and how many products you have, I'd say at least the floor is about two to three hours from start to finish. Now, let's go into WooCommerce so you can kind of see uh, the products that I have. So I just have these three products that are all getting pulled in from Printful's website. You have to install Printful's plugin. And uh, it's a it's the matter of just putting in the API key that you get from your Printful store. I'm not going to show those screens just because I don't feel like editing out all of the little uh, secret API things that, that are located there. But once you install the uh, Printful plugin for WooCommerce, it's a breeze. It really is. You set it up here, you paste in your API key, you sign into Printful, it makes the connection like you would do in any other SaaS uh, product, and then your store is connected. And I'm a, I'll show you how that all works in a moment. But here are my three products. If I edit this product, it's taking in all of the pricing, all of the details, all the way down to uh, the photos from the Printful store, I don't even have to upload the product images. And through Printful, I can pick which product images I want to show uh, and which ones it's going to import into, into WooCommerce. And of course, now that it's in WooCommerce, I could go in and do things like, well, I put in the product category. I put that as a hat, right? So I was able to go in and assign it a category. But then I'm able to come in and modify like whatever other details I want on the WooCommerce WordPress side that's not being absorbed um, you know, by the Printful, the Printful website side. So that's it. Three products getting pulled in from Printful. Let's take a look at what that looks like on the Printful side. If I go to Printful, I can view my products. So I'm in my store on the Printful website and I have these three products. I've already created these and you can kind of see uh, they show, well, I have eight variants synced for uh, the Mariport snapback with gold stitching. I have five synced with the black stitching and then eight synced with the white stitching. And I'm able to kind of go in and edit these on the fly, but you can see with Printful, I can select different styles. Um, I can assign different logos. I'm not gonna get into all of that of designing a product here, but you can see you basically set the different colors that you want to have available in your store. Um, you set the different uh, graphics if you want, and you can kind of sort of add variants if you wanna, if you decide to add more later on. If I wanted to, if I made those changes, uh, I could then come in and either edit prices, I could duplicate that to another product, I could delete it, all of that fun stuff. But let's take a look at adding a product so that you can see it being added on the Printful side and getting it ported over to the WooCommerce side. So I'm gonna add a product. And by default, it's gonna let you start from scratch. Hey, do you wanna create a new product? I've already got some product templates made. So this is just a little hint into what's coming into the, <laughs> the Mariport merch store. Um, I'm gonna be bringing in some baseball caps uh, and some beanies over uh, the course of the holiday season. Um, so we're just gonna work with this first one, this Mariport baseball cap with black stitching. Now, this is a template that I've already created. Again, it's picking which product you want to put your logo on, sty uh, styling it, designing it, saying which variants are available, and that becomes your Printful template for the future product. Uh, so I'm going to say, well, this is going to be stocked in the USA and Europe. These are all the available colors with uh, the Matterport logo with the black stitching. And then I'm going to proceed to mock-ups. And this is where it gets kind of fun. This is where like it takes out a whole bunch of stress and weight off of your shoulders as a store owner because I can come in and I can pick different mock-ups uh, to work with and you can see it's it's changing out all of the different mock-ups below uh, I can do a lifestyle mock-up it's kind of showing it you know out there you know with other items in play or I can pick this one if it's uh, a focus on uh, women's lifestyle mock-ups and we're going to roll with this one and it allows you to select which one is going to be your main uh, mock-up image so I'm going to choose this one, the pink with the black. And I can even say, hey, get some additional mock-up styles in here. So if I wanted to show it with a different color, uh, let's say in camouflage, I could do something like that and select that as well. Uh, it allows you to check off JPEG or uh, PNG. 
So I'm going to proceed to description. And this is what you have, uh, the or where you have the option to give it a product title, give it a description. Again, all this stuff can be changed later or changed in WooCommerce. But the beauty is it's just doing it for you right here out of the gate. So I'm just going to say, you know what, that's good enough. That's what I did with the other ones. Proceed to pricing. Um, and then you have the option to uh, change your pricing and allow you to say, here's what your set price is and then increase it by X amount of dollars. I'm just going to hit submit to store. So it's going to do its thing. It's going to say waiting to be processed. It's creating all of the images. It's reaching out to uh, WooCommerce right now and it's creating uh, the actual product uh, and shipping off those media assets, you know, creating the description, things like that. So I'm going to give that a moment to finish and then we'll pick up right from there. As you can see, it finally finished. Uh, it created the, the Matterport baseball cap with black stitching. I can go right into WooCommerce, it sync those seven variants and we're just going to head right over into the store, refresh the page or the product page and there it is. There's our hat. You can see it's uncategorized and actually I'm going to, because this is live, <laughs> uh, I'm going to switch that to uh, pending review. So nobody actually purchases it yet because I'm not ready to announce that kind of hat yet. Uh, but you can see there it is. It brought it in. It set the price. Uh, now I can come in and fine tune anything I want, like the category. I can switch that to hats. It brought in the description. Uh, again, the beauty is it brought in the all of those images uh, that we were looking at in the printful side. If I preview it, this is what it looks like on the store, uh, on the front end of Generate Press and my WordPress site. And that's it. Like all I have to do is categorize it hats and it's readily available in Printful for somebody to come and buy and I can start shipping new baseball caps. And I can do that with a variety of products uh, that Printful has. You know, if you go back into adding new products, you know, I can start from scratch with any of these things, backpacks even. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll have a, a line of flip-flops, right, with my logo on it. I don't know if I'll go that far. But you can see it's just... So dead simple. You get your design, you set it up on Printful side so long as that it meets their required guidelines for a logo. Um, and then you make that connection to WooCommerce and you have a total merchandise store, drop shipping. You don't have to get in the mix between stocking inventory, shipping it out to your customer. All of that uh, stuff is calculated with inside WooCommerce and Printful. Printful handles the, uh, the delivery of it customer goes through and buys a product just like they would any other e-commerce store. It's been great. Um, you know, it's been great. I've been able to uh, raise a bunch of money so far. Uh, net sales this month is $382 uh, of orders on hats, but it's a little bit greater than that since I launched it back in October. Uh, so just north of a hundred and something dollars that I've been able to raise for the WP and Up uh, Foundation. And again, I'm going to launch some new New product lines. <laughs> Look at me go. I'm a, I am a, uh, I'm an apparel line apparently, uh, and it's been just so dead simple. And this is the simplest site, right? It is WordPress. It is WooCommerce. It is Generate Press. It's Jetpack. It's a couple of Gutenberg blocks, and I've been able to create a store. And if you imagine doing this for yourself, you can see how easy that is. If you can imagine doing this for a client, uh, I mean, the baseline is pretty easy and pretty approachable to do this for just about any brand that wants to set up a merchandise store. A lot of people look at Shopify and, you know, hey, that's great. You know, you have to pay whatever Shopify uh, takes the cut from. Uh, you're, you know, working with Printful at the same time. And with WordPress, I mean, you own the experience. I think with Gutenberg, and if you're doing something super lightweight, like I'm doing here, just a handful of plugins, you can build yourself a pretty effective website pretty fast and have control over it all, right? So I think it's great when people go to Shopify and then all of a sudden they're, hey, the good news is your, your apparel line you blew up. A lot of people are buying stuff from you and then you're kind of stuck in Shopify. Maybe you want to customize things that you really can't, uh, that you can do in WordPress and you might find yourself wanting to start with WordPress from the beginning. So I hope that was helpful. I kind of went through it fast because there's a lot here, but install... WooCommerce, the Printful plugin, connect the stores, create your product, and the product will then literally be shipped to your WooCommerce store. And then you have the ability to delete it, remove it, modify it when you're ready to go. It's a great way to set up a store. Store.mattreport.com if you want to check out one of these Matt Report hats. Plugintut.com, plugintut.com slash subscribe to join that mailing list. Subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. Thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to share it. We'll see you 
in the next video.